Hey folks, and welcome to Sriracha. That's right, downtown Sriracha here. Uh, this is about 12, 13 kilometers, I guess, from Bang San, where I live. But they have a, what I would call a large, a quite large shopping mall here. Much bigger than our, than our mall in Bang San. And we need some things. Uh, prior to going on the, on the trip, I kind of put off getting a couple things in favor of preparing for the trip and just kind of concentrating on that and then of course we had the 15-day trip and now that we're back home it's time to address a couple of these issues and there's the mall up there on the left big silver and blue type building we'll just park here I know it's red and white but you can park here see here comes the, the ticket girl now uh, it's five bot and you know I don't mind paying that and something bad happens uh, later this evening and I it makes me appreciate this this uh, parking ticket girl here all the more. So I'll tell you about that at the end. But let's go in and see what we can get done. Coming to the big mall today. Going to try to find a couple things and get one of our favorite meals. And, well, whatever else. I need new sunglasses. My sunglasses took a bad beating on Nissan trip. So we'll see what we can find. See what So shopping and coming to the mall is not one of my favorite things to do. And we get here, the whole place has been turned into a zoo. I think this fella here in the blue has some kind of python. And the, and the fella here in the black shirt, I believe that's a boa constrictor. I'm no snake expert, but look at all this stuff. And, you know, it's real easy uh, to get distracted by something like this, especially since I don't care for shopping much. So let's take a quick look at all the wildlife here and then we'll head upstairs. seems like there's always something going on some kind of show and sometimes it's kind of a welcome distraction like I said shopping is not my favorite thing but we do have to get back to uh, reality here so I'll, I'll show you the reason that that we're here one of the reasons that we're here and a lot of people have asked me about my sunglasses and I wear these riding all the time but this one broke actually right before the trip this this one side over here and then i lost one of these little nose pieces somewhere along the trip and got these two prongs digging into your face so they just quite simply need to be replaced so good part is i can show you now right across from the texas chicken is this little shop right here it's kind of in thai d by whatever and he's a sunglass shop here in the sriracha mall pacific park and there's the sunglasses now i always like the the ones with kind of like the yellow tint on them but you can get uh, all different uh, all different shades uh, of shades and those are the ones and these are like the real flexible ones that he'll show you in a minute and they come with a bag and they come with a little cloth and uh, I just picked them up he was a little I think he I think he remembers me from the last time so the first pair I bought here was about a year this past this pair only lasted about five months V's complaining uh, but <laughs> I, 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 I don't think they owed me anything. The sunglasses were fine. They're not that expensive. They're like 300 baht uh, 
So if I get three, four, five, six months out of them, I'm happy. So we got, we got one thing done. Got new, got new shades. We'll see what else we can find. So yeah, we've come up to the third floor, which would be kind of like the cell phone department. And I'll show you why we're, we've come to the cell phone department. I keep getting this message here, and this was even before I went on the trip, and I've been looking, but the phone I want is kind of hard to find. You see, I, wanna, I don't want a new phone. Well, I want a new one, but I want an older model. And this lady here at this store had one, an iPhone 6, 6S, uh, brand new in the box, and it's 64 gigabytes. See, mine was only 16 gigabytes, and it was what they call an iPhone SE, which is probably a rung or so below the iPhone 6S. So this one should be better. So every time I go to shoot a video, I'm getting this stupid message I'm out of space. You know, I had 16 gigabytes. It's about time for an upgraded phone anyway. So a iPhone 6, which is one step higher than the one I had. For 8,000 baht. I don't know, however much that is. I should get it all set up and get all my stuff carried over. So that way I can have much more storage space for more video because the video takes a yeah, lot. So iPhones here aren't one of the things that are necessarily inexpensive. Uh, I'm not sure how that compares. There it is, though, brand new iPhone 6S in the box. She gave me a screen protector and she gave me a little uh, body glove or whatever thing, that rubber thing that goes around the back uh, for right at about $250. I don't know if that's a, a good price or not, but that's what they cost here. I've been trying to price these and everybody either has a 32 or a 128 gig and they, uh, it's been hard to find a 64. Now here's some cheaper models. You can get cell phones for three and 4,000 baht, 5,000 bots quite common. Uh, better ones are usually around 8 to 10, but a, like a brand new iPhone, the top of the line is, is going to be uh, probably the same price it is in the U.S., over a thousand U.S. dollars, over 30,000 baht here, maybe 32,000 baht. So it, it's, it's, you're not saving any money on it here. And it, in fact, it might even cost a little bit more. You never know. But we'll get it all set up anyway. Get the new phone all suited and booted, and we got to get something to eat, but going to probably our new favorite place and uh it's an old familiar one but a new favorite you'll see so yeah while she was setting that phone all up that took quite a while it's probably here about an hour i'll get these sunglasses set up so i can wear them but yeah they're the nice flexible ones and uh they're very comfortable for me the rubber tips on them and all you got to do is peel that off and you're good to go so we're just going up one more floor i believe we're going up to the fourth floor and that's where we're going to have dinner and we've arrived now you've probably heard of the sizzler this was kind of an old school type place back in the u.s when i was a kid my parents used to take me to a sizzler and it was kind of neat but over the years, it seemed like the Sizzler kind of faded away in favor of more elaborate buffets. The Sizzler only has a salad bar. You, you, get your, you get your salad all you can eat, but your entree, your meat or whatever, steak, that's going to be just a, ordered and brought to your table. And it's the same thing here. Here, the Sizzlers are generally just in malls um, where they used to be standalone, where I used to live in the U.S. But anyway... Uh, I think it's a pretty good. I think it's a pretty good uh, place to get a salad, and you can just get the salad bar, which has soup and pasta and desserts, and we'll take a look at it. But that's only that's on sale for 139 baht. So four bucks, you can walk in here and fill up at the salad bar. Uh, you can get uh, entrees that include the salad bar, but it's up to you. Lots of stuff on the menu. But anyway, enough look at the menu. Let's get the uh, let's get the old lunch lady glove on here and go pick something out.
yeah, in case you're wondering, I shot this whole salad bar sequence with the brand new iPhone. But anyway, those are quail eggs, and quail eggs here are rather inexpensive. I mean, they got them at the buffet. You can fill up on them where um, I remember places I used to live uh, in the U.S., Canada, they seemed to they, like they were rare and expensive, but for some reason here, they are not. They're plentiful. But anyway, we also got some entrees. I got a bacon uh, cheeseburger there. came with fries. And, and we got a really nice looking, uh, I guess it's a grilled chicken breast. That's the bread they give you. A grilled chicken breast with bacon and cheese. And that looked, that looked scrumptious as well. So, yeah, you can get out of here for as little uh, or as much as you want. These entrees can get pricey, but they do include the salad bar. And there's not a lot of places to get salad. So this is uh, one of my favorites. So after dinner, we strolled around the mall. The other thing I'm looking for is uh, some new shirts. Uh, and people have told me, hey, why, don't, why do you wear T-shirts and cut-off sleeves? And Well, for riding, uh, collars don't go too good with riding a motorcycle, and the sleeves let air in. Uh, but I, I do want some better clothes to wear for certain circumstances. Um, and this place here, Robinson... Uh, and they, they were kind of pricey for what you get, and I didn't care for the material. So we went outside. Right outside on this night, I don't think this is every night, but on the night that we were here, they had a great big clothes bazaar set up. I, I noticed they were setting this up when we walked in, but they had a plethora of clothes. And, uh, you know, men's clothes, women's clothes, but everything. Shirts, shorts, pants, uh, all sorts. So we strolled through here and see what we could find, but I... This has got to be the worst. The clothes shopping for me is the absolute worst. It's just trudgery. Um, so we didn't really find anything. I, I just can't uh, sit there and look at every every garment rack and go through shirt after shirt. What size is this one? This one's the wrong color. This one's the wrong style. Oh, it's so tedious. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. But uh, V tried to help out here. Like she found this shirt and. It's already got a logo where I would want to put one, and the lady said, oh, you can take that off, and then V examined it and said, no, you can't. <laughs> That's a nice shirt. Uh, Adidas, uh, probably not a real one, but um, th something like that, something like this is probably just basic and good enough for me. So then you got to... You got to make sure the material isn't isn't going to be too hot, or uh, there's a lot of considerations with stuff like this. It makes it all the more tedious. Then you got to try them on. They do let you try them on. There you go. I don't know about this blue one here. It's it's okay. <laughs> it was real hot, but I did put it on over my T-shirt. Well, we left there and went back to to Bang Sen, to the small mall, because it was really crowded there, just to see what they would have in there, shirt-wise. We had got all the important things we we came after to do today. These are school clothes. This place sells uh, college uniforms. But when we left here, something bad happened, and I cut the evening short. Um, I'll tell you about that next time. Well, I'll tell you about it now. I'll, I'll tell you what it is now. I, I came out from the mall and went back to my bike and somebody had absconded with my helmet and it's a not my best helmet and that wasn't a very expensive helmet it's only about a 30 to 40 dollar helmet but somebody had uh, taken it and it's a helmet that i used quite a bit to make videos it was a, a lighter weight helmet for around town uh, yeah going to places like the mall and doing videos so uh, that upset me and I just kind of cut the evening short, but we'll we'll pick up next time and we'll solve this shirt conundrum and go do some other stuff. So that'll be on tomorrow's episode, but for right now, I'm just going to leave this one off here and as usual, I'll thank you for watching and until next time, bye for now.